While the Nigerian soldiers have not bombarded these terrorists at their various camps. A security analyst and the president of Security Watch Africa, Patrick Abambu, disclosed the reason why the Nigerian soldiers have not been able to utilize the fighter jets and helicopters that the federal government of Nigeria bought for the fight against insecurity. According to Patrick Abambu, the Nigerian military knows the location of a terrorist who has been planning to attack Abuja. Patrick Abambu noted that the terrorists have set up camps in swampy and bucky areas around Abuja, and the terrain have made it difficult for the Nigerian soldiers to attack the terrorists. According to Patrick Abambu, on normal circumstances, it would have been ideal for Nigerian soldiers to target the camps of these terrorists with the aid of helicopters and fighter jets. However, the Nigerian military have not done so because there is a possibility that the terrorists may have some hostages with them. Patrick Abambu noted that if the terrorists have hostages and the military attacks the terrorists with helicopters and fighter jets, it will put the lives of the hostages at risk. Now, coming out to give us this every time is not is none of my business. At this point, eh, it's none of my business. Sincerely, if you ask me, how is it supposed to be our business now that people are with them waiting make they never rescue these people? What make they have not waiting make? For goodness sake, the Kaduna to Abuja trained victims now. Let me say, for instance, now it is the same people. Those trained victims, eh? Do you know that the first week, or permit me to say, within the first first two or three weeks, when after the attack happened, do you know what happened? What happened was that there is a, 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 this uh, a MD, the MD of the Bank of Agriculture, he was actually among those captured. What did they do? They paid the ransom and took it home. Right? Good. Now, other people, consequently, I think I heard of one. Um, they came out and said, oh, that is a Muslim. And I don't even know what they even said. They said he went to want to go home and continue his whatever that period. And I was like, okay, people will not be Muslim. They go die now. That is what I said until now. This people are still, let's say, for instance, that these people still deal with them. If the government won't rescue these people, do you know there are people who go in as negotiators and meditators? I mean, and mediators. Do you know that the people who go to mediate? So, what team make they never carry this thing? Fight, go there. If you ask me, and I have, I've, I've always kept saying it human beings, eh, there is a kind of way we behave and act. In it, it's, it's as in, there has how I behave that. Let's say, for instance, me as a person, I come into my room, I do things, or I come into maybe. My, I might stay with, let's say I stay with people, I stay with my husband or I stay with my family. They know that if I come in, ah, nah, 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 sh this person, I go do this kind of thing. Do you understand? I'm going somewhere with this. Now, do you want to tell me for the past decade, for the past 10 plus years, that these terrorists have been operating, that they have not made mistake, they have not left troops behind. They have not left troops behind so that you can not... So, they want to tell me that the Nigerian government is unable to get the hostages out of the way. And do away with this terrorist. What am I saying? How should we even start thinking in that line when the government has come out to told or tell us that the an attack on Boko Haram is an attack on the north? Not waiting then talk. So this see, see sometimes they sometimes they jam talk. I'm I'm sorry to say oh. they will just come outside the yarn to talk will be say you know make sense at all. You're coming out to tell who? You're coming out to tell robots, Abby, people who cannot reason because at the end of the day, how does your talk now use make sense? How? Okay, they're holding hostages. So, for that reason, more hostages now. You know, there are two things involved. They're holding hostage, hostages according to you. Do you know that if they do not do anything, if they don't take the fight to them, the hostages, number one, will not, they will not rescue them. Number two, more hostages. If they talk to you, you don't want to rescue them, they'll come and take more hostages and kill more people in the process. So, use their tongue, tell yourself. Use your tongue, count your teeth. Yes, a confused man discusses security matters. The Nigerian military would not have spared anything if a quarter of what is happening did not happen to the Southeast. That is my point. Whenever it comes to this, they play, they, they feel they are playing themselves. Then she said, and they play us thinking they will not know what thing they happen. But we know. The thing we say, the day where we say their cup go full for this country, the day it will, the people will have it up to here. 
<laughs> and they not turn as snatch. Even them they bear the brunt. The day where the mother has go talk say in short, waiting they happen self go. We don't tire. The day where those we go retaliate. Eh? Yeah? I go there. Yeah. We go here. Yeah, we go there. Yeah, we go here. Yeah, yeah, cause now nah. they are coming out to give us stories upon stories, super story. That is what they are telling us. That they have hostages for that reason, more people should die. That is what they are saying now. That's what they are saying. Before, where did this thing started? Bronu from Bronu, this government came in. Oh, they will do it under six months. Insecurity ended under six months. Yet, what happened? Under seven years, insecurity has spread to almost all the 36 states of Nigeria. And we are even, they are even in the federal capital territory. And these people have the guts to come and be telling us this cock and bull story. <laughs> okay. They will not consider hostages and difficult terrain. But here, the untouchables are involved. The sacred cows of the north. Okay, this year has good host no water at all. The thing they very they they itch me, they irritate him. There's a chemical I don't want to mention here that can be sprayed on those terrorists and bandits, whether hostages or terrorists, will all fall asleep. You go there and pick them up like snails. Don't give us useless excuses, my dear. Leave these people, ha, with the watch or with the cities where they happen for other nations. Oh, it's not like we are we are in an island where we say we no fit see within their book. We they see. So they cannot come and tell us super story at all. It's like the security expert is afraid to the is afraid of the government and does not want the military to attack them according to the story told by a military man, afraid to say the government. Yes now. These people have come outside to say the attack on Boko Haram is attack on the north. So what are we talking about here? My my heart goes out to some northerners who do not even want this. Sincerely, I cannot imagine what those northerners are going through. How they tell you. What is it in the face? No be beans at all. Those people, the only crime is that they were giving birth to in the north and they're not an ass. Ha. So, during Operation Python Dance and Crocodile Smiles, there were no hostages. How many innocent boys, women and children were killed in the east and south during these operations? How many homes were destroyed? Keep on deceiving yourselves. One day, the innocent bloodshed in this country will cry to Almighty God, I will surely avenge the blood for them. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.